Hello everyone. So in this quick tutorial I'll show you how to get from this image in Revit to this beautiful render using newest AI image generation models in just a few minutes or sometimes in just a few seconds. So as you probably know the standard AI image generation models lacks one big feature which is geometric and context retention. So you can prompt an AI image generator with this image and it will produce similar output but not exactly the same output. So it always kind of forgets the actual image or actual geometry. And for the architects and designers it's very important to have the exact context and the exact model always available. So now with the latest Google Gemini AI called Nano Banana it is finally possible. This is the first time I consider really to use uh, AI image generator for my concept designs and so on. So how can we do that? Uh, it's pretty simple. So first of all you need to export any image. You can have like multiple images here. Just go to file, export. You probably already know this. File image, export the image. Set up what you need. You can set up this, uh, fit to, like, let's say this, this dimension. Yeah, okay, JPEG is medium, that's not a big problem here. Set up the export path, click OK and it will export the image. Now you have the exported image. Let's open it up and you can see this is the basic exported image. Now let's go back to the Google Gemini. And uh, into the Google Gemini you can click this button, create image, click on that. And then you can just easily drag and drop the image into this uh, prompt dialog here. And then from that you can just easily go and describe what you want to add to this image. Let's say add people and realistic sky in the evening. There you go. You will have to wait for a few seconds and the image will be generated. And here we go, we, we have a sample image. And then you can fur go further down and uh, let's say you want to add, you know, plants and so on whatnot to the image. Uh, add more plants. Okay. And as you will use this tool more and more, you will see that it's very important to know how to compose the prompt. So the prompt is how you get the image. At this stage of this AI model, you cannot, you know, select some part. Uh, everything is in these prompts, so you be very, you need to be very specific about these prompts. Uh, what I like to do usually is I write them in my, um, for example, in the sticky notes, which works, uh, which prompts doesn't work, and then I can easily copy paste them into this prompt and try to repeat the same uh, image generation process. So right now it's all about the prompts. Uh, another thing you can do is you can add another images to these contexts. For example, you can add textures of materials that you want to add on specific parts in the image and that will com combine these images into your image. So if we want, for example, white brick texture, we go into this image. Let's save this image. Let's go back. And we can upload the image of bricks. And we can say, let's say like that. Still thinking for some reason. Okay, now it's stopped thinking. It's very busy today. Maybe lots of people are generating something or they are updating the model. Uh, usually it doesn't take that long to think. Basically you see the picture and that's it. You can go for forward. So, okay, we added this image and let's try to add that to the to the side facade. You can see that the texture is added to the facade here and yeah, you can go further and uh, you know, the imagination is the limit here right now. You can make it more realistic with more realistic plants, whatever you want. You can mix different images together and so on and so on. So this is very powerful and as you can see, the context uh, and the buildings are, and the geometry is retained the same as what as what it is at, at the beginning of the image. And this is the most important part. Previously, AI models didn't have the ability to remember basically the geometry. They just generated something similar. And this model really shines in this way that it's um, 
specifically designed to remember the geometry and remember the previous image. And you can see that, uh, for example, to get to this image, uh, how long it took for me. So this was the Im initial image, make to a heuristical photo, then some prompts back and forth, baby, and uh, yeah, I landed to the image that I used in the thumbnail of this video. So it takes quite a little bit inter iterations. And then I came up with an idea to maybe create this uh, into the simple like Revit add-in that uh, would uh, allow me to more easily edit these um, images inside of the Revit. So we don't need to, you know, get, for example, if I like this image and I want to edit something in this image, I need to download it. Then I need to post it back into the prompt. Then I need to describe what I want to change in that image and so on and so on. So let me show you what I created. Uh, this is, uh, I call it like a render tree, just because of the specific feature that I added to this, um, this add-in. And you will soon understand what I mean by that. At the beginning, yeah, you, you can capture any image. Uh, for example, you open this, open, this, uh, open this view and then you click on capture view and this is the root, let's say like the root image. Uh, then you can, uh, as before, you can just write your prompt here, very simple, and uh, click generate. It sends the prompt and this image to the Google AI, uh, to the Gemini AI and gets back the image. After a while, you can, you can see this image is here, and now we have like the initial image here, and we have new like node here with uh, the, the new image. Okay, let's say we want to add people. Okay, so basically what's happening here is uh, we take this image, and then we add this prompt to this image. Okay, so let's click generate again. And now you can see we have new image here. Uh, we have added people here. And uh, we can see the previous one. We can see the first, second, and the third one. Okay, what if we, we like this image more than this image, you know? Maybe we don't need people, but we want to edit something in this image. So we can just again select this one and say, uh, make it into an evening view. Again, we click generate. Again, we download this and now we can see that uh, we have this image and we have two branches right now. We have this, this branch with people and then we have this branch with the evening view. And then again, you know, you can keep on continue if you like this image or maybe you need to regenerate from this again something. So let's, let's say add plants to this image. And again, you see, we have added plants and we can look at this generation. Um, okay, maybe we don't need plants. Maybe we need only people and grass here. So we can go back easily. We can select this image as a base again. We can say add people, some clothes and uh, realistic grass. Again, let's generate. Okay, and you can see we have uh, we have basic plants, we have some grass, we have some people here, and uh, basically, yeah, that's that's how you you can eat more easily, in my opinion, this more easily to discover, you know, your uh, render like the ideas. Maybe you need you don't need like an evening picture. You can go back to this image again, more. Uh, super easy you just click on that one and uh, let's go back here and add add some clouds and add some realistic glass to this one and here we go we can see again uh, we have this image then we have this image this branch it off of this branch uh, this we have this here and and so on yeah, so this is just a proof of concept right now, right now this this um, add-in. And uh, so what else I added to this right now is that uh, every this generation session is, is saved like a session. 
and right now they are saved in these folders in temporary folders you can see all the images here all the generated images and so on all the session data uh, later on i will probably add some list on the right side so you can switch between sessions uh, if, you have, if you have multiple views mm, so right now it's just uh, when i close this it's stored in the session but i really cannot go back and load the back this previous session i can go let's say to this view and uh, again super simple to to work with in my opinion just capture the view you can set the max dimensions here if you want some smaller image and uh, again the image is captured click on generate yeah the image is generated maybe you need a different image from the start image go back here mm, let's say let's check it out oh very nice so let's go from this image maybe then this is the day view this is the night view so let's continue from the night view very nice so further down the road yeah we can for sure add improvements like um, like selecting specific part of the image and then sending that to the ai model with a specific prompt for example uh, yeah as i said like a list of a uh, list of the sessions we have here um, but right now it's it, it works very well as it is i also added some tree uh tree views let's say different different tree views if you like something more interesting uh, but the basic one is already quite fine in my opinion so how do you connect your account to this add-in uh, if you are interested to try it out I implemented the replicate API token so you don't even need a Google account you don't need Gemini subscription or anything like that let me show you you need to go to the you need to go to the replicate.com uh, basically create account here very simple and then you just go a few steps you just go to the to your API tokens you just go to uh, here to the API tokens create new token and you can name it like um, render tree create new token here so this is this is new token basically it's like a key like a key connection to this service uh, from your computer uh, to this service so don't show anyone this token uh, so it that, that's why it's kind of um, hidden from the view and here uh, let's let's clear the token and i'll show you what you will see at the beginning let's cancel this let's close this so when you launch launch the add-in first time you will see some small instruction how to do it visit replicate.com sign in to your account navigate to your account api tokens create new token or copy existing one copy and paste token above so we have a token here render tree we just copy it go back paste it in save the token and then basically you're good to generate you can capture the yeah as always you can you capture the view and let's test it out and we have generation here um, so this is not a free service keep that in mind also so let's go to billing and we can see that uh, but it's very cheap in my opinion so before before you want to before you start generating you need to add some credits here uh, you just go in here and you click on add credit then you can specify what amount you want i added like 10 bucks here uh, let's go back and we can see that monthly usage um, in progress and in this month i have used google nano banana i have used like 103 generations while making this revit add-in and i have used uh, four four dollars of that so it's you can see per image is like 39 cents or something like that so it's very in my opinion very cheap so what that gives us for me is ability to just uh, create add-in and that's it i don't need to think about like subscription to google gemini to give you that possibility 
so then you will uh, so that the add-in would become a subscription add-in i don't like the subscription model so basically it's just um you can use the add-in and then you can um pay for for what you create some 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 maybe sometimes in, in a month you create like 100 images other month you don't create anything and and basically that's it you control how much you want to pay for for the generation of the images and that is i think a big benefit over the other add-ins that uh, always use a subscription model so you need to pay some monthly fee or yearly fee or whatever and then it has to like manage all the model connections and so on and so on it's a it's a mess you know so this is in my opinion very easy and um after a while i can easily swap the models i can use different model if if uh, the new nano banana v2 is available or maybe some other uh maybe some other service will create some kind of uh, better image generation so this is a very interesting site you can see that we have different models here we have different generation models here available maybe i'll add something more uh, in the future to that add-in maybe even some uh, video generation models and so on and again interesting is that you can also see here all of your prompts uh, you can go to this dashboard to your account you can see that the model is uh, google nano banana here and you can see and go into this uh, generation uh, you can see the picture that we just generated you can even play around if you want in this uh, playground uh, or download the original and so on so basically you control what you do so all in all i think this add-in just makes it easier to work with these ai generation models especially in revit and uh, for architects you know it's a lot of iterations you have to go through to find the right one in the future i think we can easily make a uh, ability to for example combine these two images into the third image uh, also for sure we can add ability to add your own images here so upload for example some textures if you want here and so that the textures will, would also uh, for example show here like some node and then you can select uh, this node and this node and you can create like some um, additional images from these nodes um, so the possibilities are endless here i think um, so if you would like to test it out uh, i have added an uh, email subscription uh, into the description in this video uh, so there's a link for a landing page where you can input your email and i will contact you uh, when the add-in is a little bit more production ready right now i need uh, there's some bugs i need to fix also uh, i need to create an installer for this add-in and so on um, so leave an email uh, i will get back to you i guess in a few weeks uh, maybe this week maybe next week um, and then you can uh, test test this add-in and uh, tell me what you think you know other than that the ai era is here and uh, the rendering is changing and this is super fast to work with especially with the google models right now i'm sure that uh, chat gpt and other models will catch up and then we have uh, we will have probably a, a possibility here to switch between different models okay i hope this video helped if it did please consider subscribing and like this video and see you in the next one bye